Hopper family, the Bailey family, the Pollock family, the Whitmore family, the Turner family, the Lansdowne family, the Liggins family, the Duncan family. You know me and my pops, my brothers and my sisters, we make up the Williams clan. We are the building. Thank you again for tuning in to Bill for this Network. As you know, I'm HRIB. I want to thank everybody that's in the chat room, everybody that's in the background. It's important that I acknowledge you because without you, I'll just be a dude sitting in the room talking to himself. And we definitely don't need that. Now, this was a very interesting week, and I'm going to start off with something that's a bit sensitive to most people. Our young brother, Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant passed away a little more than a month ago, or a little less than a month ago. And it was a tragic situation. And uh, I'm not going to really get into it. He had his memorial yesterday, the details of the minutia of it, as people say. One thing I didn't like is the fact that, look, I'm not throwing any darts at anybody. Actually, I'm throwing darts at the mainstream media and people who call themselves me. Look, people have been attacking Vanessa Bryant, and I think that's uncalled. But what I'm going to do is attack the people who are supposed to disseminate the information to us so we can make decisions on what's, what we're seeing. And what I saw was a lack of respect for one, Joe and Pam Bryant. If you don't know the names, the reason you don't know the names, Joe and Pam Bryant, those are Kobe's parents. And it's a damn shame that everybody who listened to me don't know who Joe and Pam Bryant is. Those are Kobe's parents. Joe Jellybean Brian played with the great Dr. J. And, 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 his, and his teammate's sister, is, which is his mother, Pam. It's a goddamn shame that nobody said anything about this man's parents over the last two weeks. Only thing you mentioned was he wasn't speaking to his parents. Look, Vanessa and his children are suffering. I'm a dude who 5 0 killed my pops four months before I got there. I'm going to say it again. I never laid eyes on my pops. My pops died. My pops, if you remember the Black Panther Party self-defense, my pops died April 4th. I was born August 6th. So I understand how it is to grow without a father. But guess what? It would have been no way in hell my grandmother, Maddie May, my grandfather, George, would have been mentioned at my father's funeral. There's no way in hell. It's a damn shame that ESPN, CNN, MSNBC, ABC, CBS, TNT and all these other networks did not mention these two people. I saw a picture of them late, and I saw people even, people who I actually respect, so I'm not knocking anybody. But I just, I think it's a damn shame that everybody talked about the loss of Vanessa, man, which is tremendous. It is, it sucks. My mom watched my pops die, so I, I feel Vanessa's pain. I get it. Then you have to raise me, my brothers, my sisters, by yourself. So, I get it, man. But to the fact that most people did not say one damn word about Joe and Pam Bryant and people who were looking and paying attention, they were saying, well, he wasn't speaking to his parents. Do you know how much that has to suck? You and your son into it about some petty nonsense and you will never hear his voice again. Y'all could never fix it. You will never see your granddaughter again. See, this is when you have to call people out to start slapping people around verbally. I didn't like it. I don't know how you guys feel. You guys already know. If you if you agree, disagree, or just want to tell me, yo, bro, shut the hell up. You got the right. 773-797-2409. It's the number you can reach your man at. But I just thought it was horrible that his this man's parents were not acknowledged. People talking about where they were supposed to speak. Uh, uh, they were supposed to say, nah, nah, just acknowledge these people. They are going through the worst pain in the world. My mom died in 10 years, 10 years in September. And one of the things that stopped me from just losing my damn mind is the fact that I was like, wow, I grew up in the city of Chicago in one of the most dangerous neighborhoods in the United States of America, the Prairie Green. And I am not looking at my mom is not looking at me in this box i'm 40 years old so i can i can go to sleep and i can go damn this is the way it's supposed to happen did i think it was too soon hell yeah but at the end of the day it was a situation this is the way nature meant for it to happen me laying my mom rest 
yesterday and in and, and the private services, Kobe Bryant's parents made him the rest. That's not the way it's supposed to be. You know, people need their respect because guess what? Everybody who loved Kobe and everybody who enjoyed every moment of Kobe, they, if it wasn't for Pam and Joe Bryant, we wouldn't have enjoyed any of that. So give them the respect they need. Big ups to Pam and Joe Bryant. I hope you guys heal as soon as possible. God bless both of you guys. Much love. And again, I want to thank everybody that's listening in the background. I want to thank the people who come in the chat room. Again, man, y'all know how the show goes. I don't care. It's, I don't give a damn about being right. I'm passionate about what I say. Y'all know I, who I am. But if you're going to disrespect somebody's mom and daddy, sign me out of that get down. The next thing up, the big fight of the weekend. My man Tyson Fury, well, actually, my man... Uh, Deontay Wilder and Big Tyson Fury, they went at it. It was relatively disappointing. My man got bullied. Shout out to the Crunk Jam up in Detroit, man. Uh, Sugar, uh, what's his name? Sugar Hill Stewart. Big ups to him. The uh, nephew of the late great Emmanuel Stewart is the new trainer, Tyson Fury. After the last fight, Tyson Fury said, I need to do something different. He went and got somebody from the crunk gym, Chicken Hill Stewart, and he taught him what, what Tommy Hearns and the rest of those bosses did. The same thing he did for the Klitschko boys. Well, his uncle did for the Klitschko boys. Run up in somebody's chest. If they got that brick running at you, if they got to cock it back, if you get to their chest and they chin before before they cock back, they can't do anything about it. Big us for him for following the stress of his trainer, and big us to him for uh, taking down my man, uh, uh, Deontay Wilder. The only thing I like about this fight is the end and since it was over. What I mean by that is this. While the YouTube go to be running around here making excuses, the soup was too heavy, it was too, the water was too wet, the sun was too yellow, and all this, man. You got thumped, bro. No excuses, bro. No excuses. Look, you lost. You fired Mark, you fired Mark Greenland. I think he was bogus for that. I don't know what you, you know what? I wouldn't have fired Mark Greenland because if you go back and watch this fight and see that the beating you were taking, I send mad respect. Mail December 27th. That's all included. What's going on with this? He was looking weak and pitiful, and I don't know what the hell went on with that. So I don't know, bro. But I know one thing: the fact that Mark Greenland. I know this. Mark Greenland could could have, could have potentially saved your life, bro. You fired him. I, hey, that's your business. I wouldn't have done it. Big ups to Mark Brennan for doing the humane thing. And not enough people talking about that. Of course, we ain't talking about the humane thing. This is the United States of America. We don't get out like that. We don't care about people. It's all about the entertainment and make me happy and the instant gratification of the things that's going on in the world. But look, uh, Deontay, I hope you already announced today. You're doing the uh, get back. Then you need to take your ass up to the crunk gym and get somebody over there or take your ass out there to Mayweather them or somebody because, look, a lot of brothers, from my point of view, and the homie RC is in the chat room. He's my boxing aficionado. A lot of brothers get to the point where they dominate the boxing game and then they lose all of their fundamentals. What they do is start like Floyd. Floyd knew you couldn't hit him, so Floyd just pot shot you, pot shot you. He forgot, he forgot maybe his career how to throw a combination. It looks like the homie, uh, Ty, uh, uh, Deontay Wilder started waiting to lay people out at the, at the uh, drop of a hat, and he ain't throwing combinations no more. He not spinning, he not turning, and at the end of the day, he got his ass whooped. Hopefully he'll bounce back. I like the homie. He, he he says a lot of good things and he stays true to who he is. So I got mad respect for him, but I got to give it up to the big big homie from Ireland. He kicked his ass. He came out there and said, "Hey, I'm gonna run up in his chest and I'm gonna knock him out in three rounds." He didn't do that, but at the end of the day, he did what he had to do. Mad respect to him. Big ups to you. But y'all already know I'm rooting for the bro at the time. You can put it. You can put anybody in the ring. I'm going. I'm rolling with the brother. So, um, man, they call me bias. Blah, 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 blah. I ain't trying to hear it. Mark has more experience than Wilder. Exactly. Mark Greenland, at this point, 
he may he 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 does know the fight game more than Deontay Wilder. But a lot of people tried to lay this at the feet of Mark Green, and this dude is a decorated champion. He had mad he has mad respect from me and the rest of the boxing world. I don't understand how those other dudes were just standing there letting this dude get pummeled. Ironically, like the homie Joe from Houston just said, it reminds you of uh, uh, the whole scene in Baca and Rocky when he was fighting the big rush. Apollo should have got saved and, and, and the homie Deontay did. I know that's not, that's fictional and this is real, but at the end of the day, mad love for everybody who participated. Thank you for not wasting our money like a lot of these big time fights. And at the end of the day, thank you for having this fight instead of waiting till y'all 65, 70 years old like the homie, uh, 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 like the homie, uh, 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 Floyd Mayweather and Pac Roy. Y'all know how I feel about Pac Roy. Y'all know I ain't going. But uh, at the end of the day, I enjoyed the fight. Me and the homies got into a good argument. It was good down. Look, my man Ron from Canada, he always promoted his uh Canadian teams, the Raptors versus the Bucks tonight. We ain't hearing none of that, Ron. We in America, man. You gonna have to stop. You gonna have to be a Piston fan. You in Canada, you got to be a Piston fan. You got to be a Nick fan or something, man. We ain't doing no more Canadian sports. You my man, and I appreciate you tuning in. But you gonna have to uh be a uh, ain't no Supersonics no more. But you gonna have to pick you another team. Get to be a Timberwolves fan or something, bro. We ain't hearing that no more. All right, get on up out of here, Ron. But thanks for tuning in, Ron. I'm going to be cussing you out on Twitter later. And uh, I can't wait for football. Okay, you a Lakers fan? That's what you need to do then, Ron. And uh, I can't wait for football to come back around. So I keep taking your cigar money, too. Big up some Ron from Canada, man. My, man, I love you. Next up, man. I'm going to talk about this NBA thing, man. This NBA thing is out of control. Now, uh, I know I talked about this a second ago, but this creep skip Bayless, man. What we going to have to do is start. X and out to you know we live in this cancel culture. I don't really participate in that, man. But I ain't trying to hear that no more, man. This dude Skip Bayless running around here trying to get people to point the finger at LeBron for not being seen at the memorial yesterday. Yes, bruh, miss me with that. You don't tell nobody how to deal with that. Kobe is his buddy or whatever or whatever, man. Everybody don't deal with that. Well, people looked at me like I was crazy because I didn't shed a tear at my mom's funeral. Look. I'm not crazy. LeBron not crazy. You don't have the right to try to garner uh, uh, animosity and point, it, uh, and, and point it towards LeBron James. I don't like that nonsense. People don't. Look, I'm not asking nobody to uh, like Le, uh, LeBron James. Y'all know how I feel. Like Barry Bond said, you want to you want to miss a great ball player and and invest all this negative energy and hate towards him and miss the parade. Hey man. Hey, I hated Kobe Bryant, but I love rooting against him. I'm from Chicago, man. I didn't like Michael Jordan, but I love watching him play. And if you're going to let some goofball on TV tell you LeBron ain't this and LeBron ain't that, and all you do is point out his flaws, you're going to miss the parade, man. Miss me with that nonsense. I ain't trying to hear none of that. None of it. Pick up some LeBron and the rest of any and anybody who rolling with him. But, hey, you don't have to do things the way you want to do it. More NBA news. My favorite player. Now he, he, he left-handed. So I, I got the left hand bite. Y'all know how that go. Ben Simmons is on the men, man. Pascal Siakam said he filling in the holes for all his games. And the Houston Rockets looking like ain't nothing going to stop him, man. Are y'all ready for a 6-4 and under team to win the NBA Finals? Again, if you want to participate, if you just want to call in and say, man, you can jump off the deep end, 773. 797-2409 is the number. It's how you get in contact with me. Otherwise, you're going to be forced to feel what I'm feeling all night long. That's what time is. Now, it looks like the Clippers have gotten their act back together. Doc Rivers, uh, Kawhi Leonard, and my main man, uh, what we can call itself, Playoff P. They back in order. Patrick Beverly is in the building. They took down the Memphis Grizzlies after Jackson got hurt. But look, people... I told y'all this. Everybody said LeBron James, after 17 years, we're going to have to watch his health. Kawhi, my man Playoff P, a.k.a. Paul George, and my main man from the west side of Chicago, like me, uh, Patrick Beverly, those brothers don't stay healthy. So, it's going to be a war of attrition as usual. I'm looking forward to it. But, hey, don't count out the Lakers, man. A.B., 
I mean, AD, it's going to be interesting down the stretch with them Houston Rockets.